Happy new month to you. Happy new month. And to all the workers, uh, it's holiday, workers day. Happy workers day. Happy. In those days, workers would go and march and do all those things. But now, don't worry. Better days are coming ahead of us. Nigeria will be better. And I know all over the world, maybe it's not an holiday where you are watching from, but in Nigeria where we are recording from, this is for Wednesday, so I'm assuming, though it's pre-recorded, but it's Workers' Day. So I'm saying to you, happy Workers' Day. And whatever you have for not on holiday, get to work. Now, remember, David, stop working, stop because of comfort or success. Don't stop working even when you are succeeding. You are the part, you are the very important factor in your business. Don't forget that, no matter how you are. If you are not looking after your business, who else will look at it? And that takes us to a very interesting man called Solomon. In first King 3, I'm going to read first King 3, verse 3 and 4. Solomon loved the Lord and followed all the decrees of his father David. Except that Solomon too offered sacrifices and burnt incense at the local places of worship. Verse 4. The most important of these places of worship was Gibeon. So the king went there and sacrificed a thousand burnt offering. Wow, what a good guy. Following the good lines of his father, doing much more than his father did. And the Bible says, God say, ah, because you have done this. And God appeared to him. And God blessed him. God gave him something he has never given any other. And he said, that gift will make you to be the best king ever. See, today, by the valuation of this king, is still the richest man, the wisest man, the wise king. And kings from all over came to him to get wisdom, to listen to him, to listen. God gave him so much wisdom. He wrote the proverb, some of the psalms that we have today. He wrote so many books, though some of them are never published because, you know, it's been a while ago. But what happened to this man after succeeding? Let's look at the story. First King 11, verse 9. The Bible says, The Lord was very angry with Solomon for his heart, the same heart that he so used to love the Lord, at the are turned away from the law, and the God of Israel who appeared to him twice. Sir, he messed up. The God that blessed him and promoted him, his heart turned away from him. When he was about living, he said, Vanity of vanity, sell the vanity. He said, He had all that he wanted, but he was never satisfied. Sir, don't leave the God that is promoting you. Somebody got a job one time and he stopped going to church. The same guy that used to be in church all the time. Oh, he said, oh, I'm busy. Sir, it's good to be busy. Now it's easier to serve God. Because social media is close to you and you can use it to reach out to people wherever you are. You can get in touch with people to preach. You can also listen to the message of your church. Don't mess with your relationship with God. Your life depends on it. The Lord bless you. Happy New Year.